Good morning, good morning. What's up, Fab City? What's going on? It's tea time. Good morning. What are you thankful for today? What are you thankful for today? Let me read to you what Yogi says. The beauty, the beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. That is what my Yogi says this morning, right? We always start off with a positive message. So your soul is constant, right? It's beautiful. What are you grateful for this morning? What are you grateful for this morning? This morning, I am so grateful for the time that I get to spend with my kids. So grateful for that freedom. I actually was uh, thinking about what it felt like when I had to call out before. <laughs> Thank God my boss is not, my old boss is not on here. But I remember before having to call in like at 5 30 in the morning like when i knew no one was in the office because i just couldn't handle calling in and him picking up the phone right why ty are you sure you can't come in and you know it's little things like that that i wake up now and i think about and i'm like i'm so thankful that i don't have to do that anymore and it all starts with finding your purpose and your passion in life and what it is that you want to do what do you want more of in your life? And that happened over 10 years ago, sitting at my desk as an administrative assistant. You know, what do I want? And I say this and I share this with you because I don't want you to think that wherever you are today, you can't have these amazing thoughts. You can't want more. You can't plan for more. You can't journal it out. You can't research on your lunchtime. Like you can go all in play full out like go ham at that desk on your future on what is it that you want and i'm saying that because many people who are sitting at a desk and are working are feeling like this is it this is the end of it i'm never going to make any more income i'm never going to do anything other than this how can i how can i find the time to do that i have a husband i have kids it's a lot going through your mind and I totally understand you. I have been there. Believe me, I know what that feeling is like. And I also know what the feeling of not taking action is like. And I think that is so much more painful. Knowing what you want and not going out there and getting it. That hurts because that's the one thing we go home with and it sits on our hearts and everyone can say, what's wrong, what's wrong? And we're like, nothing, I'm cool, I'm okay, nothing's wrong. But deep down inside, there is that thing that we've been thinking about that's hurting us to keep pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down because we have to go to work, pushing it down because we have to cook dinner, pushing it down because we have to be there for the kids and just pushing it down to not cause drama, right? We keep pushing this thing down and the deeper it goes, the deeper it hurts. So I'm telling you right now to not continue pushing this desire down. This one thing you keep thinking about that's sitting on your heart. Start journaling it out. Start writing about it. Start thinking about it more. It's totally fine. See, what we do is we push these desires and these thoughts down because of the negativity in the world of you can't think about that right now. How will you ever do that? You have a nine to five. You're so busy with the kids and you have this other. How will you ever do that? Don't listen to those things. They come from good people, people that don't see a way out, don't, can't imagine you doing those things with the life that you're currently living. And that's okay. I mean, forgive them. I say forgive them because that's probably you right now. You can't see the way. And that was me before at one point, and I had to learn to forgive myself. Sometimes I look back now as that girl that was sitting at that desk, so anxious and so confused, and how, how am I going to do this? And I have to forgive her because she had no idea. And you know why? Because she only sat in her environment, her environment of everyone else that just went to work, did their job and went back home. She didn't sit next to thought leaders. She didn't sit next to people who were driven and wanted more, right? Or at least were taking action or would buddy up with you and say, let's have these thoughts together. Let's go have lunch and coffee and let's think about what we could do besides working here, right? Some of us don't have that. We are that person. And you can be that person for everyone else, but it's scary. It's scary to take that action. 
And I will never tell anyone leave their job, but I, what I will say is while you are there, be thankful that you want more, right? What do you mean be thankful that I want more? But I, I want to know how to get it. Be thankful that you want more because there are people now that don't even want more. So if you're in that space where you want more, be thankful, be proud of yourself for one thing more. Forget about you can't get it right now. Be thankful that you want more. There are people who don't even want more. They are so okay. And you know, that's okay. You got to love them. They are so okay with having their job. They're so okay with living in the neighborhood that they live in now. They're so okay with, you know, their spouse, with their income. They're just okay with where they are. And that's okay, right? The same way we want them to respect us dreamers and doers and, and you know, want to do all these crazy things. Yes, yes. And that's beautiful. Yes, I love that. I love that because some people still don't have that that dream, that fire. You know what I mean? And because of their age, it might even stop them. Now you can work on where you want to get. You totally can. And let me tell you this. It all starts in the mind. It truly starts in the mind. And I think we've heard that so much to the point where we don't believe that. Like, what do you mean it starts in the mind? Like, my podcast started in my mind. My book started in my mind. My entrepreneurship journey started in my mind. My happy marriage started in my mind. They were all thoughts that I had, that I wanted these things. I didn't know how I was going to get them. I didn't know where to start. I was confused. I had no idea, not one, like, how to take a step. But I knew that I wanted more. And that's what I'm saying. As long as you want more, you continue to think about it, you write it down, and you talk about it. Talk about it because as you talk about it, you're going to come. You're going to come into people who want the same thing, but maybe they're too afraid to talk about it. Because I remember many times I'm like, um, why am I going to talk about these crazy dreams and with who? With whom? But not knowing maybe Sally in the other department or Sally in my in my building. Maybe she's just as crazy as I am. But both of us think that we're so crazy, we keep our mouth shut. And we crazy never meets crazy. And sometimes when crazy meets crazy, crazy things happen. Amazing crazy things happen, right? Sometimes I think about my coach. She's crazy. And I love it because I'm like, I'm crazy. Let's get together and do crazy things. But what happens when you don't? speak about your crazy dreams. And you know, some people say, don't speak about it because not everybody has good intentions for you. Let me tell you something. Whatever is for you and whatever God says is for you, it's yours. No matter who has what to say about it, no matter what energy is floating around there, when you're connected and close to God, you know how to protect your energy, your space. You feel the vibes. You know exactly when things need to shift. That's why it's important that first you have a relationship with God. So that way you don't fall victim into the things around you and the negativity. You are aware when things aren't right and you can pick yourself up and move and get out of that environment. That's why that relationship with God is so important. And so when you are thinking these things, Share them. And when I say you don't have to walk up to people, you can put it on social media if you wanted to. You can talk to your husband if you wanted to, a best friend, one of your children, right? Talk to someone. Because I always find that when you do, you eventually are going to find this crazy person who's going to back you up. This crazy person is going to listen to you. And this crazy person is going to say, you know what? You're not crazy at all. That's not a bad idea. Why don't you find a way to do that? Why don't you hire a coach? Why don't you research? Why don't you journal? We crazy people, we tell you go all in. Don't stop. Find a way. Others that think you're crazy will say you're in over your head. Don't do that. That costs too much. You have kids. You got to think about this. You got to think about this. And then you're sitting there with your dreams locked in here. And you keep pushing them down and pushing them down and pushing them down. And then eventually you hurt yourself because you don't become the woman that you've always wanted to be. Listen to me again. You don't become the woman that you've always wanted to be. 
And no one will ever live with that regret except you. No one will ever live with the, the, the regret except you. Because people are so quick to give opinions and to give advice. And advice is not even empowering, encouraging, but they love to do it. But they do not have to live with the regret. It is you. So it's so important that you get in contact with yourself again and don't let these things stop you. Ask yourself, who did I want to be? Who do I want to be? What is it that I wanted to do and accomplish? Write this down. Who am I? Who do I want to be? What was my dream at once? What did I want to accomplish? How did I want to feel, right? How did I want to look? How did I want to live my life? Hope you got your journals out and a pen. And if, if you are new to It's Tea Time, everyone comes here. When my girls inbox me, they have a notebook and they have a pen. And then ask yourself, what, that's part of doing the work. And what has stopped you? What has stopped you from being you? What has stopped you from chasing your dreams? What has stopped you? And write those things down because you will realize in time that these things that you've noted down that stopped you were just excuses to keep you comfortable, to make you feel okay for not going out there and taking action, for making you feel okay for not going out there and making it happen, right? Before me, it was, I have kids. It was, I don't have the money. It was, I don't have the time. It was a lot of things. It was like, how can I do that when everybody around me is so negative? How can I do that if I don't have a partner? I don't have a friend who pushes me. I had so many reasons why I couldn't go out there and be the woman that I wanted to be. And when I look back at those things that I wrote down, which is why I'm telling you to write those things down now, I realize that none of those things ever had the power to stop me. None of those things ever were a good enough excuse for me not to be the woman that I wanted to be. It's always you in your way. Don't forget that it is always you in your own head. Always you. You have to learn how to block out this negativity. You have to learn how to Create this environment that empowers you. And if you have not taken my four-week course, Find Your Boss, I encourage you to take this course. You'll find it on my website, TaishaRoman.com. Go to Find Your Boss. This is a four-week course with workbooks and with audios where I am talking to you in your ear. Yes, I'm that crazy girl telling you, go ahead, you can do it. And there's homework for you to do in there. And this is so important for you to do because if you don't have that foundation, if you don't have that starting place of positivity, of empowerment, where you can grow from, it's going to be very hard for you to just start finding your way because you don't know where to start. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know what action steps to take, right? And it is very hard to not have a starting place. I remember when I sat at the desk and I didn't know where the hell to start at. I didn't know what to do, who to go to. It was tough. And finding my way, that was my journey. But it doesn't have to be that way for you. It doesn't have to be that difficult for you. And that's the reason why I put that program in place. Every woman needs this, this starting point, this love and empowerment to be risen up and do what they want to do. So I want you to think about that today. Who am I? What am I here for? What's in my way? Write down what things have you used as excuses to be in your way and what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want to do in life? Stop pushing that dream down. Stop pushing those thoughts down. Stop pushing those desires down. Let's start bringing them up. Let's start bringing them up because the more we bring them up, the more we want to face them, the more we want to deal with them, the more we want to take action and do something with them, the more we want to seek help with these things. When you push them down, you're going to forget about it and say, oh, this is just my life and I'll live it. You know, when you were meant for greatness, I don't care how old you are. I don't care what condition you are in. I don't care what health condition you're suffering. I don't care how many kids you have. I don't care how much money you have doesn't matter. You were born to be great. You have a gift 
And it is your responsibility to start bringing up these desires and feelings so that way you can recognize your potential and what you were put on this earth for because you're amazing. You're amazing and you're amazing. No matter what, you are amazing at what maybe you don't know yet. And that's okay. That's okay. You're going to find out. That's the point of doing the work, right? You're going to find out. You're going to find your boss. That's the point of doing the work because you're beautiful, you're amazing, and you can live the life that you truly want to live. I love you all. It is tea time. I hope you take some time today in your day to do this work and think about it and let it sit here and ask yourself, what more can you do? What more can you do to live your dream life? I love you all. Have an amazing, amazing morning.